Hey guys, this is a bit different. Today I'll be showing you how to make this ombre wooden letter art. So the only things that you'll need is a paint of your choice, a sponge, a paintbrush, and of course you'll be needing the wooden letters. I just got mine from the craft store. Um, it's relatively cheap. And today I'm just going to be doing it on the letter A. I had mine in the plastic still, so obviously I'm just going to rip it out with my hands because I was too lazy to get scissors. So it's best if you have a plain colored letter like white or yellow, but in fact you could just get um, a color letter that you want uh, the background to be. It could be like blue or green or whatever. And now I'm just going to take this sponge, it's really long, so I'm going to just cut it with some scissors. And this tutorial is really simple by the way, so just take your paint and kind of shake it a few times and then squeeze it onto a corner of it and then you want to just take your paintbrush and just paint it the bottom third only because you don't want to you don't want to overpaint the solid color because you can't really go back after you paint it unless you want to just wipe everything off and start again. So basically I'm painting it until the little bridge and I'm just going to bring it up till there and just paint a small line of that. And then to actually create the ombre effect, it's really simple. Take the remaining paint that you had on your brush and just brush it across the, the sponge, but just in a small stripe. And then here you just want to dab it until it looks kind of like ombre and it blends into the white. This doesn't really take long. Um, the thing that you want to do is kind of fill up all the white gaps in between the purple. So as your paint run, as your sponge runs out of paint, um, bring it up more to blend it more into the into the letter, and then just go over it a couple times. So I'm just going over it again just to make sure all the white gaps in between the paint are filled. And I'm sort of making the bottom bit a little bit darker by adding more paint. And now, you don't have to keep it simple like this. You could sort of paint a tribal pattern over it. Um, this is just a base for something you could do. You could um, add like duct tape around the side just to make a nice little border. You could stick things on or anything like that. I just wanted to keep mine simple for my room. And basically, yeah guys, that is basically it. And once you're done sponging, just take your paint and then go over the bottom one more time to make sure it's all opaque. And then you're done. I hope you liked the video. I know it's a bit different. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe.